This is a Buchle Easel V from Artoria. Let's create a sample and hold style patch in this synth. So right now I've loaded in the default preset. That's what it sounds like. Right now we're hearing just a complex oscillator. Uh, we can change up the timbre of the complex oscillator with this slider. Alright, for sample and hold pitch modulation, we have the pitch modulation input here, and that's the depth control for the whatever the CV is coming in here. Uh, we have a random voltage generator here, and all the white outputs will produce that sample and hold output. So let's take the sample and hold output and plug it in to the input here. So when I play a note, in fact, every time I play a note, you hear a different pitch. Now this random voltage, the trigger is set to a keyboard but we can switch it to this pulsar. So as long as I'm holding down a note based on the pulsar, which is, as you can see here, it's blinking away. So based on the rate of the pulsar, we're getting that particular sequence. All right, so I want to do the same thing for the um, note itself. I don't want to play in the note. So if I just bring up the level, we're going to get a very consistent tone. But we can play around with the envelope. Right now the envelope is used to control the volume of this gate here. This is the envelope section here. The envelope is set to sustained and it's set to keyboard, meaning we have to play with the keyboard to trigger the envelope. But we can also set this to pulsar. Alright, cool. So that's channel A, what we're hearing right now. Let's bring in channel B. If I crank up the level on channel B here, we're hearing this modulation oscillator that's running through channel B. That's the frequency or the pitch for modulation oscillator. This is the waveform. Let's go for that square shape. Now I don't want to control the volume like this. Um, we'll probably use maybe the envelope or the pulsar directly to control it. Let's try that. So I'll take the output of the pulsar, which is this yellow output and plug it in here. So now we're triggering gate 2 based on the pulsar. Alright, so how about pitch? We have the sample and hold output here. We can take that exact same output and plug it into the frequency input here. And if the pitch is approximately the same, so let's say if I set this to about 0.331, and if I set this also to 0.331, if we listen to both of them together, we essentially get the exact same pitch for both. Of course, you can fine-tune them to make it slightly different. But if you don't want the exact same melody, you can take any of the other white outputs and plug that in, and you get a different sequence. channel A down for now. So we have channel B. It's clocking pretty well. Make it more plucky. And then we have channel A. That sounds like that. And if you play them together, it sounds like that. Let's switch this to sync mode. And now let's turn off some of the values here. So that sounds pretty interesting. Uh, but now the random voltage generator is relying on the pulsar, so we're not quite getting the pitch modulation there. Let's go back to the sequencer, and now we're getting the pitch modulation. And also you notice that um, this envelope is stopped, so our gate one output, or basically a complex oscillator, is lost its volume. We can switch this also to the sequencer. And now it's back. So, but again, it's following this exact same pattern. We can try playing around with the speed of this pulsar.
that sounds pretty cool so the pulses set to trigger based on the pulses output creates a different rhythm from the other complex oscillator output and now together we get this pretty cool dual rhythm you can add some reverb You can also randomize the timbre here. This is the CV input for that, using the mod wheel right now. But we can disconnect that and use anything else. The envelope, or the sample and hold, or the sequencer itself. I'll take the sequencer output, plug that in there. So based on these sliders, we're gonna get different values on the complex oscillator's timbre. Play around with the clock rate. So that was a little example of creating a complex sample and hold type sequence using the Buchler Easel V from Arturia. Stay tuned for more.